Warisan Vice President Jun Swong has accused Pakatan Harapan of being complicit in the government's failure by virtue of a memorandum of understanding it has with Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob's administration. He said it was time for the opposition coalition to ditch the agreement. Every day, PH leaders are coming out with statements criticizing the government over Azambaki's share ownership, but they are the ones strengthening the administration, he told FMT. Azam, the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission chief, is at the center of a controversy arising from his disclosure that he had allowed his brother to buy shares through his trading account. The handling of Azam Baki's case and the silence of cabinet ministers on it is alarming, Wong said. The people are losing faith in institutions like the MACC and now the Securities Commission. Regarding the MOU signed last August, where PH agreed to work with the government to restore political stability and bring about economic recovery and to let Putrajaya handle the pandemic, Wong said. What political stability? We've had two state elections and speculation is rife about another election in Johor. We're still seeing high numbers of COVID-19 cases and we all know how bad the economy is. All the MOU does is strengthen the Barisan National and Perikata National Coalitions. He said Malaysians who came together in the last general election are losing hope in the opposition. That is why Warisan does not want to be part of the MOU. He urged PH to admit it made a mistake in signing the agreement and to pull out of it.